Hi tipsters, hi families. I'm really, really excited for today's writing topic because it's so exciting. I know we've been home for a little while, but while we've been home, I've been watching a lot of news and watching President Trump talk about things that have, that have to do with the virus that's going around today. So while I was watching him on the news, I thought, hmm, what are some really cool things I could do if I were president of the United States? So I thought about it. I said, hmm, I know I want to do things that are really, really fun and make people happy. So I thought to myself, I said, hmm, what are things I would do if I were president of the United States? When I tell you the things that I would do, I'm going to tell you the things in order like a sandwich. I'm going to tell you the things that I would do first as president, things I would do next as president, and things I would do last. So let me think. If I were president of the United States, what's the first thing I would do? I love wearing pajamas, so I would change National Pajama Day to National Pajama Week. That means I would be able to wear my pajamas on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'd rather wear pajamas for seven days as opposed to one day. What else would I do if I was president of the United States? I love hearing all the stories about Ms. Schwartz's dog, Bobby, and Ms. Zealous's dog, Bentley. So what if I made it so that all teachers could bring their pets to school every single day? That's the next thing I would do as president. And let me think, what's the last thing I would do if I was president of the United States? Oh, this one's the best one yet. If I were president of the United States, I would let Kipsters and all students around the world play outside for however long they want. That means if you want to play outside from the time you get to school all the way to lunch, you could. It's up to you. So first, I would change National Pajama Day to National Pajama Week. Next, I would let every single te teacher bring their pet to school. And last, I would let Kipsters and all students around the world play outside as long as they would work, as long as they want. Those would be really, really cool and fun things to do if I were president. Now I'm going to tell you the things I would do in a short story using those sentence starters first, next, and last. Listen closely. If I could be the president of the United States, I would change so many things. First, oh, that's that first word for my sense of starter. First, I would change National Pajama Day to National Pajama Week. That way, we could all wear pajamas for seven days instead of one day. Next, I would allow all teachers to bring their pets to work. So fun. Last, I would let Kipsters and other kids around the world play outside for as long as they want. I'm definitely ready to be president now. I use sentence starters to help me write my story, and I even added an extra detail to add more to my story. So because I wrote about what I would do if I was president, you're going to write about something that's a little bit di di different. You know your principal, Miss Catlett, and all the cool and fun things she does? Like, she hosts and lets us do Bloom Fashion, and lets us do Blue, uh, Blue Banquet, and all these other fun things. You're going to write about what you would do if you were principal at KVP. So cool. So let me show you your writing prop and the sentence starters you can use. To imagine that you could be principal for one day. What are some rules you would make that Kipsters have to follow? Who knows what a rule is? That's right. A rule is something you put in place that someone else has to follow. So one rule we have now at school is no running in the hallway. So you absolutely cannot run in the hallway when we're at school. Another rule is that you have to raise a silent hand before getting out of your seat. That's another rule. But this writing prompt is so cool because you're going to write about if you were principal and the rules you would make other people follow. These are the sentence starters you're going to use to help you write your story. Your first sentence could be, if I could be principal for a day, I will make some new rules. First, then you're going to write what you would do first. Next, you're going to write what you're going to do next. And last, you're going to write what you're going to do last. Don't worry. I know this is a lot to write. If you push the space bar on your laptop or click the pause button on your device, 
you'll be able to pause me talking and look to see what your sentence starters are and your reminders of how to be a great writer. So don't worry. Remember these five things when you're writing. You want to start all your sentences with a capital letter. You want to end all your sentences with some type of punctuation. That could be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. You always, always, always want to write as neat as you can. Even use your finger for a finger space to help you. You want to draw a detailed picture with labels. So I should definitely see a lot of pictures of yourself with a label that has your name when you're a principal. Last but not least, you want to say it, stretch it out, and break words down that are a little tricky. I had a little bit of difficulty or it was a little hard for me to write the word change. But once I said the word, stretched the word out, and broke the word down, I was able to spell the word with no mistakes. I even heard the sneaky E at the end of that word. So great. So I definitely pay close attention to saying words, stretching them out, and breaking the words down when I wrote my short story. Remember to use the sentence starters to help you. And again, you can push the space bar on your computer or click the pause button so that you can keep your sentence starters up so you, they are able, you're able to see. I can't wait to see the, and hear the really cool things you would do if you were Principal or Miss Catlett for one day. Bye, Kipsters. Bye, families.